Hi everybody, uh, Lynn and I are here again just to chat with you guys a little bit about some things we've been trying in our parties lately to work smarter, not harder, and book our parties at the party before we go home. So that way we're done working when we leave the party. So, um, Lynn, do you want to share what you've been doing with um, the little prizes that people, could, you were telling me about it? Yes, actually, pass me the little lanyards. I'm going to just um, do something, show you something that I just did at my last party, and we're going to pretend that these lanyards are actually like decorative beads. That you can get at the dollar store and what I do is I ask my hostess here my hostess, hostess yeah it. just to put those on at the beginning of the party and um, during my party presentation I just say um, it's our hostess's goal to get rid of all three of those beads during the party so if you are a top party girl or if she thinks that you'd be great at hosting a party um, then please take one of those beads off and put it on yourself and then I'll know at checkout that you're gonna host your own party um, so her goal is to get rid of all three of those beads um, before the end of the party, which is pretty easy. Um, and I, I encourage her along the way too. Um, and if she does, I make a big deal about it um, during the party presentation. If she does get rid of all three of those beads, um, there's a super cute um, gift sitting over on the table that she can open. And I think her, um, her guests also like to see her open the gift, so they're more inclined to take the beads off and book a party. Awesome. Very cool. Um, and we were talking also about something that you can do similar to help you guess. It's very similar to the uh, lanyards, but what you can do is you can take some actual little prizes. Lisa has made up some really cute little, they're just little clear plastic purses with a business card inside and she's bow tied them up. You put a little bit of tool on everything, um, make it look cute. And then what you can do is you can either hand one to every guest that's in like watching your presentation or you could actually have them in a little carry out caddy as a part of the display on the table. And you just want to let your guests know that if at any point during the party, they're thinking they might want to do their own shopping event with you they can pick one of these little purses up and then there's actually a prize listed on the back of her business card. So when she picks a date with you, she gets to see what her prize is and then she gets that at her party. So it's just a little bit of an incentive. People like being special and um, it helps you get through the booking conversation because it can be a little intimidating sometimes. So just kind of, it's like leverage for you for booking your parties. But. Yeah, it's a great thing to try to book your parties at your parties rather than afterwards when you're making those dreaded phone calls that we all don't love. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can get in front of people and um, just pencil them in, you know, if they get to check out and they say, um, I don't know when I can have it, um, but I would really like to book a party, maybe just pencil them in. Just say, well, how's January sound or how's February sound? And then you can follow up and um, actually put in a date. But, you know, get them at least penciled in your calendar. So. That's just some tips we have for you. So we can't wait to see you booking your December and January strong. I'll see you guys. Okay, go. Hi everybody.